Christian warriors, those who love to talk to God and those who are hungering to pray even more. Arise Intercessors is the program just for you, brought to you by the National Intercessory Prayer Network of Jamaica and the Prayer Center of the Caribbean. Greetings one and all. Welcome to you wherever you are tuning in to MTM TV. Thank you for joining us today to pray within the Caribbean and indeed across the world. We are your hosts, Evan and Maria Harbajan from the National Intercessory Prayer Network of Jamaica and Prayer Center of the Caribbean, bringing to you Arise Intercessors to help intercessors and God's praying people to arise in prayer and in missions. In various parts of the Caribbean, the heat is on and we are wondering what the summer will really be like. Globally, especially in the Middle East, things are heating up. I wonder what hell will be like, not only heat-wise, but the level of discomfort from miserable, wailing souls doomed to eternal punishment. We are praying that you will not end up there. As we pray, please invite the children and youth to join with us. And to lead us in worship will be Auntie Catherine Snyder, our children in prayer coordinator. And the exhortation will be done by Auntie Catherine. And continuing in prayer, will be our senior intercessor, Sister Grace Ann Ruddock, will be followed by Reverend Devon Harbajan, our executive chairman. Knowing you, Jesus, knowing you, there is no greater thing. You're my all, you're the best. You're my joy, my righteousness, and I love you, Lord. And I love you, Lord. All I want, hell dear, build my life upon all this world reveres. And wars to own all I once thought gain I have counted loss spent and worthless now compared to this knowing you Jesus knowing you there is sufferings to become like you in your death my lord so with you to live and never die knowing you jesus
You were the word at the beginning, one with God, the Lord most high. Your hidden glory in creation, now revealed in you, our Christ. What a beautiful name it is, what a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a powerful name it is. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a powerful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus. Oh, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Knowing you, Jesus, knowing you, there is no greater thing. Yes, Lord, you're our all. You're the best. You're our joy, our righteousness, and we love you, Lord. We love you. What a great privilege and honor it is to get to share with you um, right here from MTM Studios in the heart of Kingston. And we're so grateful for their accommodation, for them hosting us. And we just speak great blessing upon them and the great work that they're doing and their technical team. And I'm here today to just share with you um, on the topic of of encountering God and specifically about our children and our young people encountering God. Um, about six months ago as the Prayer Network, National Intercessory Prayer Network of Jamaica and the Prayer Center of the Caribbean, we began to really look at our meetings with our children and our young people. Um, um, quite honestly, our numbers had gone down partly due to COVID and our young people not wanting to come online, resisting that. And then also um, a lot of our, our young people have just grown up and aged and they're, they're in high school and are, are even beyond. And I'm there saying, God, how do we get our young people back? How do we, how do we get this core? And I began to think, well, I'm going to go to the parents and I'm going to interview them and I'm going to find out what do parents want for their children and their young people. My children are, are, are adults now. I, I don't have children in my home, so I, I feel a bit clueless, you know, like what are they listening to? And before I even did that, I could even get to that point, the Lord stopped me and he said, what they need is me. What they need is my presence. What they need the most is an encounter with me. And so I've been on this mission or on this, um, this quest to really introduce and to bring our young people into an encounter, into a meeting with him. And and as I talk to even um, adults who have been Christians many years, there's a constant in there in that they, they met the Lord. They've met the Lord. Now, we know from Scripture that even meeting him and seeing great miracles is not the end all because we know the children of Israel um, saw tremendous miracles and yet their hearts were hardened. So we want to pray that our children and young people, when they meet him, their hearts aren't hardened. I was also recently very encouraged um, by a minister who said, yes, meeting God in, in like the, the Passover and reenacting the Passover supper 
is good, but even a better way to meet him is to meet him as Jesus met his disciples and people after his resurrection. And so I want to look at just three of those occurrences. There are um, most likely 10, scholars believe that there really are 10 um, meetings where Jesus, after his death and resurrection, met physically in the body. And we're going to use that as a pattern. The first one is how he met Mary Magdalene and the other women in their grief and in their disbelief. And I believe that Jesus is still here today to meet our young people when they experience great grief and great disappointment in things didn't go the way that they expected them to go and things that they've put their hope and promise in. Jesus is there to meet them. Number two, my favorite. He met two of his disciples on the road to Emmaus. And he talked with them and he acted like um, he didn't know what was going on. And the disciples said, where are you from? Haven't you heard? And, he, and then Jesus, who, who was undercover, began to go from the prophets and the Old Testament, the law, and reveal himself and, and shared how the Messiah had to suffer and die. And when he left, they said, oh, didn't our hearts burn within us? Jesus wants to meet our children and our young people as they're going about their daily life, doing things, um, meeting things, meeting people, talking to people. The third and the last one, Jesus revealed himself to Thomas. Thomas said, unless I put my finger in his wounds or, or touch his, the wounds on his side, I'm not going to believe. Jesus knew what he needed, and in the same way he knows what our children and our young people need to settle their questions about, is God real or is he not? And he is there to meet them. So join me in prayer as we pray for the Lord to meet our children and young people. Oh, King of kings and Lord of lords, the great I am, the lover of our souls, the author, the finisher of our faith, the good shepherd. I thank you that you are the good shepherd and we are your sheep and, and we hear your voice and we follow you and our children are the lambs. They are the lambs and they hear your voice and they see you. And so, Lord, we are crying out for a great appearing and revelation and encounters for our children and our young people. Give them dreams. Give them visions. Meet them, Father God, in their, in their disappointments, in their grief, in their sadness, as you met Mary Magdalene and the other women. Father God, meet them as they go about um, their daily life and even as they would look in the scripture, oh, Father, I pray that you give our children and our young people such a hunger for your word. Like no other generation ever before or would ever even come again, give them such a hunger and a desire for your word to understand it. And their hearts burn within them as they even read your word and understand it. Father, you have created each of our children in such a unique and special way. You know what makes them tick because you created them. You are their creator. And Lord, speak to them in ways that you know that they will listen and they'll hear your voice. For, for some of them, it's a friend who knows the Lord and they can speak confidently. For some, they need to hear your audible voice. They need to hear you call their name. For some of them, meet them in their dreams over and over. Oh, God, come alive in our worship services by your spirit. Draw them into worship because we know that you dwell within the praises of your people. And, Father, I thank you that you have called our children and our young people to worship. So may they worship with all their hearts. Father, may we as parents and aunties and uncles and teachers um, not let our children zone out 
um, and not participate, but may we encourage them to truly be worshipers. Father, we thank you that you are God. You are God alone. You are the word. You are life. Lord, I thank you that you are a friend and be that friend for our children and young people, Lord God. Um, I thank you that your word says when my mother and father rejected me, you were there. You were my father. You were there. And so be that for many of our children and young people. We give you all the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the praise because you are such a good God. And just want to make some declarations now over our children. Just declare with me. Your hearts are good soil for the seed of God's word. You, our children and our young people, love your word more than they love your daily food. You are protected by angels. You are the head and not the tail. God has a plan and a purpose for you. Not to harm you, but to give you a hope and a future. God bless you. Keep speaking life over our, our children and our young people. Never death. God bless you. In Jesus' name we pray and make these declarations. Amen. Father, we thank you that you are God alone. We praise you that indeed you are Lord of all. Father, you rule and you reign in the affairs of men and we glorify you, mighty God. Father, we want to continue to bring our children before you. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that, Lord, you love the children. You said to the disciples, suffer the children to come unto me and forbid them not because of such is the kingdom of heaven. And, Father, as we continue to seek you for our nation, as we continue to seek you for a godly heritage, for our children. Father, we declare in the name of Jesus that, Lord, our children are taught of you and great shall be their peace. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you go before our children. Lord God, you make every crooked path straight. You silence the plans and the schemes of the enemy concerning our children. Lord, we thank you that our children, Lord God Almighty, our youth and our children, our young adults, Lord God Almighty, the upcoming generation are those, Lord God Almighty, who will seek you with all their hearts. And so we ask God even now that you cause, Lord, that our children, our youth, our young people will have a spiritual encounter with you. An encounter, Lord, that will change the course of their lives, that will set them on the path to the divine destiny that you marked out for them, Lord God, even before they were fashioned, Lord God, in their mother's wombs. Lord, we pray for the outpouring of the Joshua anointing upon our young people, Lord God. Father, we pray that you will ignite them for service. You will ignite them, Lord God Almighty, to bring this nation into the divine destiny that you have marked out for this nation. Lord, you said Jamaica, Lord, and the regions of the Caribbean, Lord God Almighty, you have a special plan. And so, Lord, we just ignite the upcoming generation, Lord God, so that they can take the baton for the kingdom of God, that they they will stand. They will not be shaken. They will not be, Lord God Almighty, brushed aside, but they will be the one to take the reins, Lord God Almighty, and stand and bring glory to your name. Lord, we see so many things coming that are meant to derail, that are meant, oh God Almighty, to distort. But in the name of Jesus, we commission our children for service to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we say, Lord God Almighty, you and you alone have your way. You and you alone, Lord God Almighty, be exalted in the lives of our children. Lord God, we reverse 
every curse that has been spoken. We reverse, Lord God Almighty, everything that has been said, everything that has been put in train, Lord God Almighty, Lord, to disrupt your plans for the children. And we say, God, you be glorified in the lives of our children. Lord, you be honored. And Lord, we just thank you. We thank you for the children that even now, Lord, as they participate, Lord God, in these times of prayers, Lord. We thank you that they stand, O oh God Almighty, as catalysts of change. They stand proxy, Lord God, for their peers, Lord God. And they, Lord God, through the leading of your Holy Spirit, will bring others to you. Will bring others into the kingdom of Almighty God. And so we declare a blessing over the children of this region, Lord God. We declare, Lord God Almighty, that, Lord God, you keep them out of the path of the devourer. We declare, mighty God, that they shall be mighty through you upon the land. And we declare, mighty God, that glory shall come to your name through the children of this region. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise again for this opportunity and this privilege. Hallelujah to be able to use the airwaves to declare that Jesus Christ is Lord over this nation. Hallelujah. That we can trumpet it across Jamaica, across the world, Lord God, across the different media, that, the, that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. And we continue to speak and to pray that, Lord, this nation will fulfill the purpose for which you created it, Lord God. This nation will fulfill its mandate and why you established it as an independent nation in 1962, Lord God. You know what you had on your heart and in your mind's eye for this nation. You know the plan and purposes for this nation. And we are saying that Jamaica belongs to Jesus. It does not belong to the devil. Hallelujah. And Jesus Christ rules over her. We recognize him and his father as the one and true and only living God. And they are the ones that we acknowledge and that we serve. Hallelujah. Father, we want to just bring to you especially, Lord God, an event that will be happening this weekend. Lord, a national event, Fun in the Sun. Lord, we thank you that a company, Lord, decides, Lord God, to honor you in celebrating its anniversary by putting on an event that will save souls, an event whose focus is the salvation of souls. That is an evangelistic outreach, Lord God. And we pray, Lord, that you will draw by your spirit people from the north, the south, the east, and the west, Lord God, from every corner of this nation, Lord God, to gather in the national stadium that your word will be preached, Lord God, with the power and anointing of the Holy Spirit with even signs and wonders confirming your word, and that souls will be convicted and saved, and we will see, Lord God, a mighty harvest of souls that will usher in, Lord, and trigger what we are trusting you for, a mighty revival, a mighty transformation that will sweep across this land, because we know, Lord God, that our nation Lord, is not uh, our politicians that have the answer, Lord God. It is not the police that has the answer, but the answer lies in men's hearts and men's mind being transformed by the gospel of Christ. And so we just honor you this evening and we give you all the honor, all the glory and all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. We have some brief announcements for you, so listen up. Available books to build your prayer life and relationship from the womb to the tomb. 
The first one, a rise intercessors arise and accompanying workbook. It's for the birthing, calling, training, and restoration of the people of prayer. Then we have when a man prays, the lion and the lamb must arise. Explaining why men pray differently, the power behind their prayer that avails much. Then we have this thing called relationships. Prayer and great relationships go hand in hand. We need to get both in order. A tool to help you to fix those relationships. So make sure you purchase these great resources. Join us for our Intercessors Mobilization Camp, where we have testimonies, teachings, praise and worship, and definitely intercession. When do we meet? Saturdays from 4 to 7 p.m. Jamaican time. And so we do this on Zoom, and you can, for any of the announcements, you can call 876-829-6867 for further information. And if you'd like to sow or to give into the ministry, you will see on the screen some banking information. Thank you for giving. God bless you. I started out with the question, I wonder what will hell be like? Truth be told, none of us truly wants to find out by experience. Satan deceives many into thinking that it will be calypso and reggae music, wine women and fun. Hell will be pure torment like a nightmare you are happy to wake up from. Jesus gave his life so that you can escape it. So if you choose to follow him by repenting of your sins and giving your life to him, that will make the difference. So why not do that right now and pray this prayer with me? Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I come, I come just as I am. Just as I am. A sinful person. A sinful person. I ask you, Jesus. I ask you, Jesus. To forgive me of my sins. To forgive me of my sins. And to cleanse me. And to cleanse me. From all unrighteousness. From all unrighteousness. I do not want to spend eternity in hell. I do not want to spend eternity in hell. When I could be enjoying heaven with you. When I could be enjoying heaven with you. Save me today, Jesus. Save me today, Jesus. And one day. And one day. I will be with you. I will be with you. These things we pray. These things we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. 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 So, now that you have prayed that prayer, guess what? Jesus heard you. And I want you to feel free to call us. There's a number that's on your screen now. You can WhatsApp us a message or call us on WhatsApp if you're overseas or so on. And any question that you have, There'll be somebody there to answer you. If they don't know the answer, they will look it up for you. And this program is brought to you by the kind courtesies of MTM TV. We pray for a special covering up on the MTM team. We declare that this station will continue to be a blessing, spreading the gospel to this region, Canada, and the other nations. And that we will reach all those yet to be reached with the gospel. Remember to tune in next week, Wednesday at 6 p.m. Or join us on the website, mercyandtruth.tv. Blessed are those who trust in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. You will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. You will not fear when he comes. You will always prosper. You have no worries in a year of drought. And you will never fail to be fruitful. God bless you. See you again next week. Christian warrior With the weapon In the right hand I am a warrior Oh, a Christian warrior so tell your family, friends, and brethren to tune in every Wednesday evening at 6 p.m. on this station for Arise Intercessors. See you right now.
Now back down from